Welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Michael Kane and my name is Jason Newland and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep uh, number 62 I think and it's a live one it's another live one I'm not even sure why it is live. Well, I know why it's live because I'm broadcasting it live, but I don't know why. Um, I was thinking of just doing a video, you know, recording it, uh, filming it, and then uploading it, but it takes so long to do that. So I thought, I'll just do it live. So there will be a degree of interaction potentially when people perhaps come online and sort of give me a little wave and say hello and I might reply to that um, briefly and just sort of say hey. But at the same time, I'm still gonna jabber on about nothing for, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes, maybe 42 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, maybe 50 minutes. Um, I don't have any way of keeping track of the time because uh, there's nothing, I've got nothing with the time on it. I don't have a clock or a watch. Uh, I haven't had a watch for years. I do, I do have two watches. Um, used to have three. One was like a fake Rolex watch um, that my friend <laughs> my friend gave to me I used to just wear it because it was a watch and some people believed it was a real uh, a real um, Rolex but it wasn't um, I got a watch when I left a job so like a, a leaving present I was so pleased for me to go, I think. Uh, and I got a watch given to me at my friend's wedding. So yeah, so I've got both those watches still, but they're in the in the storage cupboard. I don't wear them. I haven't worn a watch since I really I left school. And even then, I used to have to wear the watch on my right arm because my left arm was just used to feel uncomfortable. But my right arm, there's something about having something tight um, around my arm that I didn't really like. You know, I was thinking, When nurses or doctors take blood pressure, you know those blood pressure tests. I used to really didn't like them when I was a kid. Now I'm not bothered. And I had one done recently, you know, about two, three weeks ago. And I realised why it doesn't bother me now. It's because I know that it's gonna stop and it's not gonna completely crush my arm. When I was a kid, I didn't know that. So I think it would be helpful if the doctors or the nurses doing it would tell the person, by the way, we're not gonna crush your arm. Anyway, only listen to this or watch this when you can safely close your eyes, don't operate heavy machinery, and don't get married while it's on you know turn it off 
turn it off on your honeymoon. Um, there's certain times when perhaps this isn't the good thing to be listening to or watching. Maybe. So I'm in the process of, I've decided to make better, I've got a bit of background sound there, that's the trains. You know, it's really weird, okay. You hear, the, I hear the trains during the day because it's quite a busy track, but it's not like loud or anything, it's just, it's in the background, you know. And they don't bib their horns, you know, go like that, that's my impression of a train. Um, they don't do it during the day, but one o'clock in the morning, they're horn happy, which I don't understand. It's like that's doesn't affect me hugely because I'm quite often up. Hi, Margarina Del Rosario and Tammy Downer Marshall. Tara. There's a lot of long names on here tonight. So tell me one, two, three, four names. One, two, three, four, five names. I got two names. I got a middle name, but I don't use it. You know, in, maybe if I get married, I'll add a, another name to my, to my name maybe. Maybe if I marry somebody, that's got a double double barreled name and I could add that then I'll have five names won't I including the middle name oh that'll be good so yeah what I've been doing and what I'm doing right this second while well, I'm not doing it but I'm waiting uh, for my very first hopefully really good video uh, that's going to be coming out. When I say really good video, what I mean is with a really good graphics and uh, a good quality picture, uh, not, you won't see me, but you'll see, they'll, you know, it'll be a bit more like some of the other hypnosis videos on YouTube the ones that get lots of uh, views. So I've got the video rendering on my uh, Video Studio X7. And it's an hour long video, but I'll, I'm gonna make a few of those with different, different videos and then cut and slice as needed to match the, the length of the audio that I'm gonna be recording. I have not recorded the audio for that video yet. And then I'm possibly gonna get some music and then add that to it as well. So at the moment, the, the video is 20% done so it's rendering so 20 percent is done uh, and it's been running for about five hours so it gives you an idea it's being uh, rendered into uh, 4k and it's going to be a large file very large file uh, i think like 14 gigabytes or something like that no, that wouldn't be right. 17, estimated, I think, I think it said 17 gigabytes. So it'll probably become smaller than that actually when it's finished. So once that's done, 
this video that I've made then I'm going to be because that will be saved on my, on my laptop then I'll be making an audio and then I'll be making the video adding the video back on and putting it all together and it's probably going to take let's say it's a uh, let's say it's a 55 minute video and it's perhaps a relaxation session or uh, something like that maybe even a whisper session ASMR and then I have to render it all again for 4k so that's another 20 odd hours it's going to take to get finished and it's like wow just for one video so that's a lot of uh, I mean, hopefully it'll be worth it but it's a lot of work it's a lot of time so it's really taken to make one video taken me about two days just to produce one video admittedly I'm not doing anything in a sense of the laptops doing the rendering of the video and I've, I've been I did the work to start with and now it's I'm just waiting for it to be done it's taking ages <laughs> ages and ages and ages and ages and I can't really use a laptop at the same time because the lap I don't know it's, it's prone to just overheating and shutting itself down and if it does that it means I'll lose I'll lose that work and I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm going to have to leave it on while I'm in bed and it'll probably still be going when I get up in the morning because as I said it's probably another if five hours 20 21 percent it's taking five hours so it's two four six eight ten so it's 25 hours it's going to take so it's still another 20 hours left so it means it should be done by about six o'clock tomorrow evening and then and that's just the start of the process so then I need to start looking into sort of what kind of music background music I'm going to choose because what I'll be doing is uh, I'm using Uh, like videos and pictures that I'm allowed to use the uh, you know legally reusable and not copyrighted and I'll be doing the same with the music as well and then but the easy part really is just recording the hypnosis session that's the easiest part of all and then add that on there and hope that it turns out okay and then I'll upload it to YouTube and and I suppose because I put that much work into the video side of things I suppose I'm going to need to look at editing the audio to make sure that everything sounds okay but then that adds problems that adds a few issues because when I'm recording something not this but when I'm doing like a hypnosis session there are gaps and pauses and the sort of there's a rhythmic thing going on that just kind of happens naturally so when if there's a, I don't know, let's say there's a sound outside, it's it, or somebody starts a motorbike, or Andre decides to run out 
and do something which was uh, very noticeable sound wise then if I edit that out if I cut it out delete it then there's a gap there there's a less of a of a gap to what I would um, have naturally done and I realized that no one else is going to know that's the amazing thing about editing is no one else knows what the original had on there it's just like I'm recording here but you don't know what's above there or to the side of there or to the side of there you know you don't know there could be there could be a big a big cow just lying on the floor there isn't but I'm just saying it's I mean the editing thing is such a strange thing isn't it and I could literally record this and also record it on a like a, a voice recorder just a tape tape in it and it could be loads and loads of noise and everything in the room and then I could re-edit it and just re redub over the the sound of me talking like what's done in documentaries and stuff or we got used used to be done and that's a lot of work it's, it's really not worth doing especially not on um doesn't seem like it's worth doing on stuff that's free i mean i did go into a years ago or twice actually I made some was it twice no once so I went into a recording studio and a professional no, proper recording studio and I recorded three CDs three you know one was for relaxation one was for chronic pain relief one was for uh, insomnia and I didn't do it all in one day I did it over a few days but I couldn't believe the uh, the technicality that went into it because I was talking and then uh, Diane, Diane, Diane Walker Hubbard says hi, hi. I was talking into the microphone and the person was in the recording studio. I was in a different room and I went into the recording studio afterwards and he said, he asked me that I needed to go back into the room and say certain words because he was going to dub it over and dub over the words that maybe weren't as clear as you know were needed and it just it felt too fake it didn't feel real to me and um, didn't feel I don't know, I know that's the way that uh, songs are recorded in recording studios quite often. You know, you do lots of different takes and then you just maybe cut and paste so that it sounds really great. And you know, maybe one line is better sung the next time in you know, uh, version seven or whatever. But I couldn't sit in a recording studio and just keep, I, I, you know, it, it interrupt my flow. I had to just talk for 30 or 40 minutes and then finish. And you know, I, I couldn't stop, go back and repeat a sentence and then carry on because 
that's um, this this just doesn't work for me. I'm just not professional enough, I guess. I just I can see. I don't know. It's something. By the way, if you can hear a little bit of bubbling, it's my can of coke. I moved the laptop from on here. Although it's a little bit messy. To over there. Because it was making so much noise. It really sounds like a, well, so it sounds like an aircraft taken off, but a very tiny little miniature aircraft with really tiny people in, I suppose. Doesn't make sense. So what's kind of inspired me to look at perhaps trying to make uh, I don't know what the right word is more suitable videos or more um, well I've been looking at the YouTube channels the hypnosis channels that are the most successful and pretty much all of them have images and maybe pictures or videos of candles or swirling images or uh, nature backgrounds moving and then another another picture of a forest and maybe a picture or like a moving picture of the sea you know and a lot of them do have music as well and so they're you know very professionally produced edited created clearly using proper video software which I do possess the software I just haven't possessed the uh, enthusiasm to use the software I guess so um, I mean technically it, I could do this video and put this onto the, you know, convert this into a video, like prof better looking, fit, not, not make me, look, give me a, a smaller head maybe. I look like I've got a big head, don't I? I haven't really. I'm just very tiny. I am I'm actually really tiny. It's just my head looks big when I've got this because I'm leaning forward see if I'm leaning back see looks smaller it's all to do with distance and I I suppose I could have a better introduction for these videos and I'd like to do a bit more of that because it's live then there's always a chance that the sound quality won't be wonderful. There's always, and also because it's live, uh, it's not quite the same as the let me bore you to sleep sessions that I do when it's not live because uh, sometimes I, I don't know if the right term would be that I get more focused because in some ways you could say that I go off on uh, a various weird little adventure sometimes so when I do it live I'm a little bit more aware of um, the And the fact that I'm like live and I've got a kind of maybe 
not behave myself but just be aware of uh, even though there's not many people watching live that there are people watching and not a lot but you know over the course of the period of time that I'm here talking during this session people have come people have gone some people have stayed uh, hopefully a few people will say hi or they'll click the like button if, if you like what I do and it's a different kind of a vibe but it's still intended to be boring um, but after 62 sessions 62 of these videos or they're not all videos I've done mp3s as you know audios but uh, quite a few of them have been videos and I think I started these in March and now it's December so I've been doing a while how they seem to have turned out is or what I've come to realize is that although the title of these sessions is let me bore you to sleep I don't have to really do anything other than just be myself which is like a it's a good thing on one side it's like great I can just uh, there's no effort involved I can just talk about my life and about my thoughts and about my dreams and about my past and bore people into falling asleep but on the other side people have fallen asleep listening to me talking about my life and my past and my dreams and my thoughts it's kind of a it's a woo woo moment you know it's like ooh 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 so yeah a woo woo moment woo 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 so yeah this is the I'll show it to you this is the software I've got Video Studio Pro X7 and I've had this for a while but before um, yeah I, I uploaded it to the laptop that I had at the time when I bought this last year sometime I might have even been the year before but I think it was last year and the laptop didn't have enough power to really run it it was uh, four gigabyte hard drive uh, I've now got an eight gigabyte hard drive which is uh, a bit more of a powerful machine uh, unfortunately it keeps overheating but um, Hi Carrie, Carrie's joined. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm kind of learning how to use it. But there's a real. There's part of me that doesn't want to learn, if that makes any sense. So I was watching some tutorials on YouTube and some of the things on there are amazing there's uh, there's this man and the very beginning of the tutorial he landed like a superhero and then just walked away and, I got, and then he said look let me teach you how I did this I watched it it's very complicated very complex the whole procedure very easy for him I'm sure because he's doing it probably all the time but and then I thought, I'm probably not going to need to ever do that. I don't know how landing like Spider-Man 
or Thor or Superman. You know, I don't know how that's going to fit in or land. And then say now, welcome to JasonNewland.com. My name's Jason Newland. I listen when you can safely close your eye. It, I'm not sure if that really fits into. I don't know if that's the best way to follow a superhero landing. So I probably don't need any action scenes with my videos. It's all a bit more relaxing, uh, nature pictures and videos, and it just take a while. It's gonna. I suppose once I've put together enough videos, I'll then be able to sort of mix and match which means I'll be able to maybe produce more than one every two days. But that's okay, even if it does take two days to produce one video. I can still do a live session or I can still do one of these. But then I'm thinking, should I do this as a video? You know, record it, upload it. Um, and make it all snazzy with a really cool beginning, a title, introduction video, you know, all that stuff. But there's a real laziness within me that really, yeah, I kind of can't be bothered. It's see this picture you, know, you can't see it if you're listening but it's a picture of a person on a dirt bike he's got a helmet on he's got his face covered isn't that a shame that they could have paid somebody you know to do that they could have, you know, they could have like got a bit of recognition and, but that could be absolutely anybody. It might not even be a person. It might just be somebody else's head on top of a thing. So they, well it's a video studio, so they might have just made it, made it up. I suppose they can put a human together, can't they? So they don't have to pay anything to the model. The tagline for this video Studio Pro X7 from Coral or Corel is Live Life, Make Movies. Uh, not really that. I don't know. I get a little bit worried about getting too involved in stuff like that because then I might get a little bit, uh, I might want to start doing more and then end up starting to focus on videos and not the, I just got away from someone there. Um, I'd be a little bit worried that I'd start getting interested in the technical side of making videos and and lose track of what I'm actually here to do which is to make sessions to make um, hypnosis videos or hypnosis stuff which is kind of what I'm here for plus these very very boring things that I do these uh, let me bore you to sleep. Maybe the reason I'm doing this tonight is because I can't use my laptop. That could be another reason actually, because not being able to use a laptop means 
I'm just going to put that down. It means I didn't want to watch television. And what I did do just recently for about the last hour before doing this is I listened to a video uh, which is a, a sleep session so I thought I'm going to start listening to other people's videos because I never have I listened to a little bit of one once but I've never listened to other other hypnotists online I've always just kind of just done my own thing and I'll be perfectly honest and this might sound like a I make um, like I made it up when I first started posting videos on line like it was my space to start with back in 2006 or wherever I didn't know that there was anybody else doing it I genuinely didn't know that there were other people doing the same thing as what I was doing it's not that I thought I was a maverick and I'd created something it was just I didn't know I didn't and the same with YouTube really I, I remember when I first discovered YouTube um, I didn't search for any hypnosis sessions I just opened the channel and started po you know, posting the videos that I'd already posted online previous to that onto YouTube and um, I remember once then I started discovering that there were other hypnotists on there and this was like 2007 and I remember I came across a video and there was this bloke a bald a bald man sitting in front of a bookcase and for a second I thought it was me and I thought wait a minute I don't remember making that one it wasn't me it was someone else but it was the same kind of quality picture webcam and um, it's just you know it's in front of a bookcase because I used to have a bookcase behind me when I started my first videos were black and white it's not because it's such a long time ago it's just that they were black and white basically I uh, decided to I wasn't happy with the picture quality of the webcam but the black and white filter looked better it was a little bit clearer so I went for that and I did a few like that they're still actually online I think daily motion if you click if you go to daily motion and just put my name in there you probably find some of my really early videos in fact right at the beginning I used to have this so I'd be sitting at a desk I'd have the laptop in front of me I'd have the webcam on top of the laptop and or did I I wonder I might, maybe I don't know I forget but anyway I had this sponge and on top of the sponge and the side of the sponge it had I taped onto it my website address www.jasonnewland.com and that was what I had right you know in front of me it was like basically a, I think it was a sideways up it was like a car sponge you know something that you clean your car with and uh, I had my web address on there and that was like 2006 it's amazing really time 
it's, you know, you think we're now coming up to the 13th anniversary of me having started doing all these uh, online videos and MP3s. 13 years. That means in another seven years, it'll be 20 years. In eight years, it'll be 21 years. It does, it's quite amazing really that, because what is it? It's, it's over 20 years since I first got involved in hypnosis. I got involved in 1998. Yep. I bought my first two books at the beginning of the year, probably January 1998. And then I started doing some training throughout 98. And then 99. And so sort I of went from there. Oh, those were the days. I had hair. I mean, I still got hair, but I had, I never used to shave my head back then. I didn't have a beard either. I used to sort of let it get stubbly. And then at the weekend, I would shave it off. At that time, I'd shave it off on a Friday evening. I said, yeah. And then Saturday evening, I wouldn't shave it. Um, but, you know, let it just grow the rest of the week. But every, every Friday evening, it sounds like I had one bath a week, and I didn't. It was just that, that I, you know, I was busy on a Friday evening. So I used to have a, a proper good shave, make myself uh, presentable, kind of. Yeah, I remember that. So yeah, it's just, I'm kind of wondering how the videos are gonna come out. I've been thinking about it for a week, really sort of planning what I was going to do. I even thought about making my own videos. So getting a table, getting some candles and just filming the candle on the table for an hour. Doesn't matter about any background sound because there won't be any sound. You know, I'll edit, I'll just mute, mute the video and then add my own audio, maybe music and whatever under you know on top of it. And looking at how long it's taken to do some of this stuff that I've already done, I might actually do that. I mean it won't I still ha you know, I still need to render it and go through the whole, you know, video studio stuff, but I think in some ways it will feel a bit more like my own because I've I've made the video myself, you know. Maybe take the camera out and start filming the trees and in the wind and you know just a bit of nature, a bit of countryside. doing a bit of editing and making it look nice, you know, and just sort of slicing them all together and overlapping and I think countryside's quite nice for relaxing. I mean, I, I quite like the sound of the wind. I was going to say the wind beneath my knees. That would be weird. The wind beneath, wind between my feet, between my toes. You know, Andre's got webbed feet. 
So Andre, he's my ferret, my son. He doesn't like water, but he's built to swim. He's got feet like an otter. Well, he hasn't, otters are big, aren't they? But he's, he can swim, he's got webbed feet so that he can swim. He's built to swim, but he doesn't like water. Go figure. Strange, isn't it? So Rachel has just joined. Um, I don't know how long I've got left. I'm tired. I'm going to be going soon. But, um, God, my face went all red when I was yawning. I've got a light over there that's shined on me. You know what I'm thinking of doing with this place? You know what I thought about doing is getting a shed and having like a little shed and having it as a recording studio, but not so much to have recording equipment in it, but just so that it could be soundproof. So I'd get it. I'd have it maybe in the corner of the room or something. And then maybe in the bedroom. Not much goes on in there, so I could have it there. And then put soundproofing all around, because it's such a small space, it wouldn't cost that much. So maybe pay like two, three hundred pound for the for the shed, but then I can put soundproofing in. And then I could make recordings without any background sound at all. Can you imagine that? I know that anyone visiting my home would probably find it a bit strange because I don't suppose many bedrooms have a garden shed in them. I'm just kind of visualizing it now and I realize it's probably a little bit silly but if I could I know I just love the idea of being able to just talk and have no background sound so I can't afford to go to a recording studio because that's uh, I don't know how much that is an hour, 30 pound an hour or, uh, you know, it's, it's quite a lot of money to, to go to a recording studio. So I think it'd be quite good if I could get that level of complete silence and soundproofing because I live very minimalistic in my home, which means I've, it's quite a high, high ceiling here. And there's nothing against the walls, really. Um, I used to have bookcases, but I got rid of them, got them moved them into the bedroom. And I've only got like this table, a chair over there, TV, and Andre's cage over there. A little little unit there with the internet thing on, and that's it. There's nothing else in here. And it's a little bit echoey. And I suppose the other thing I could do is if I could get enough money together, save up, get a decent carpet, but get like the most soundproofed carpet that I can get. I'm doing that because I'm thinking of the thickness. And then 
get soundproofing blocks and put them all along the walls, completely fill the walls with soundproofing blocks and maybe also the ceiling. But then there's the windows. How do you soundproof a window? Um, I can't change the windows apart from it's very expensive to sort of put in triple glazing or whatever but I don't own the place so I can't even if I had the money I couldn't change the windows you know what Elvis Presley had that's not a, this isn't a window story this is a real in Graceland he actually had a carpet on the ceiling because he loved playing the music, loved playing the guitar and, and singing and he loved the acoustics and so I think he used to have friends around and they'd sing together and he had this like, I imagine it was a very expensive carpet and I'm pointing to the ceiling as if you're not you wouldn't know what a ceiling was but but he'd have it above his head on the ceiling that part above you and apparently he had that and he I think there was footage of him talking about it it's because of the acoustics it was really good acoustics of having having that there so I suppose I could maybe put carpet everywhere put a carpet on the ceiling and on the walls then it'd just be weird wouldn't it that'd just be a weird a weird thing I don't know would that be a weird thing to do put carpet on the walls and on the ceiling Not if there's a reason for it, surely. If there's a reason for, you know. I still quite like the idea of having a little shed, a little garden shed. I can be like the little garden gnome in the little garden shed and have it all soundproofed. It costs, I could probably get it soundproofed for about £100. I could sit in there, I could sing, <laughs> I could talk about nothing for an hour without any sound in the background. Instead of hearing motorbikes in the distance, no squeaky big black squeaky chairs. no noisy laptop chugging away I'm surprised that laptop hasn't got like one of those starter motors you have to pull a cord to start it it's really <laughs> it's very temperamental very temperamental didn't make it a cup of tea this morning, hasn't spoken to me all day. So I'm not going to be able to upload this video to YouTube today. I'm not going to be able to upload the audio to SoundCloud or iTunes or any of the different places I upload them. Uh, Vimeo, Vimeo, not Vimeo. Spreaker. Because I can't really use a laptop. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to cook myself some pasta. And that's not really an alternative to uploading stuff to podcasts, but it's something that I can do. 
is something that I will do. Oh yes. Then I'll have something to eat. Watch a bit of telly, perhaps. You know, I was watching, I was watching the House of Commons. It's a parliament channel that we have over here in, in England. And it's basically live all day long. They show what's going on in the House of Parliament, the House of Lords, you know, all the political speeches and all that stuff. And I'm amazed how many really important debates go on in there during the day while other people are doing other stuff at work or you know whatever they're doing and all these laws are being brought in and or turned down you know as well which really affect people's lives yeah, it's not made public. It's not. It's not like it amazes me. Just the, you know, I've have sat there watching for four hours a, a debate on something that's big, and there wasn't even a mention of it on the news or in the papers or anything. Yeah. That was boring, wasn't it? I've even bored myself. I could so easily just fall asleep. This is just it's tedious tedious. It's be <laughs> It's beyond it's just uh I want to go. So, if anyone has watched, thank you for watching. If anyone has listened on the podcast, once it's uploaded, thank you for listening on SoundCloud. Thank you for listening on iTunes, possibly Spotify, iHeartRadio. Where else? Spreaker, Stitcher, uh, Castbox, various uh, tuning. That's another one. There's quite a few different podcasts that I'm on. Or you may be on my website, jasonnewland.com. Um, or YouTube, even. Thank you to my YouTube subscribers for joining me and watch this space because maybe not tomorrow, but what's the day today? Tuesday, Wednesday, possibly by Thursday, I will be uploading a really groovy video, like proper, a proper one. You don't get to see me, it's just my voice, but a really good, um, visually, quite a good visual, visual video. Even though hopefully you'd have your eyes closed anyway while the video's on, but yeah. So I'm gonna go Thank you for watching, for listening, for just being the wonderful person you are. And I'll speak to you and see you another time. Bye. I've just got to press the button to stop it.